here at True North, we had our researchers come up with all of the instances that members of parliament called Prime Minister Stephen Harper a dictator during Harper's time in office. So here we go. We had Ron McKinnon, who is the liberal MP, still the sitting MP for Coquitlam, Port Coquitlam. He tweeted this on March 5th, 2014. He said, Harper's dictatorship for democracy coming to an end, question mark. And then he linked to a far left blog. We had Olivia Chow, former MP for the NDP party in Toronto's downtown riding of Trinity Spadina, according to a tweet from Chris Fox. He wrote, Chow going after Harper hard. Parliament is about democracy, she says. Are we living in a dictatorship? Question mark. Next, we have Elizabeth May, who's a former leader of the Green Party, and she is the MP for Saanich Gulf Islands out on Vancouver Island. Here's a piece in the Thai from October 2013. Elizabeth May, how to stop Harper's elected dictatorship, the Green MP on the PM's dangerous decision, opposition tactics, and rustlings of hope in the Tory bench, uh, Elizabeth May is quoted as saying, we are living under an elected dictatorship. This is a very frequent reoccurring theme, this term, an elected dictatorship. Next, we have Wayne Easters, a former Liberal MP. Back in 2010, he said straight out, this is a quote from the House of Commons. We got it from Hansard. He said straight out, he's a dictator, referring to Prime Minister Stephen Harper. We had a Conservative MP in response say, he just called the Prime Minister a dictator, Mr. Chair. Is that parliamentary language? Do you allow that? So so again, this, this whole debate back and forth of the opposition calling the Prime Minister a dictator is nothing new. Hedy Fry, who's a former Liberal MP for Vancouver Centre, likewise said the prime minister behaves as if he is a dictator. This likewise is from Hansard. So this is something that she said in the House of Commons in the official transcript of a debate in the House of Commons. Likewise, also in the House of Commons, Carolyn Bennett, who is liberal minister of mental health and addiction, she said, leaders who want to make the rules are called dictators. This is a test. Will the prime minister accept the Canadians and their parliament make the rules and restore the long form census now?